first of all, my grandparents are from Austria and I grew up with lots of stories about World War II and their experience. So generally, I was just very interested in the history of uh, World War II and especially my grandma, just speaking about growing up in this environment and how, how it influenced her as a person, just, yeah. I thought digging into a character that had lived through a somewhat uh, similar experience would be really interesting and challenging. Um, how did I prepare for the role? First, I did a lot of research just generally on uh, German nurses in World War II. Uh, luckily, there are loads of interviews online that I was able to watch and it was extremely interesting to hear how what they thought their role in war would be differentiated to what their experience then ended up being on the front lines. And it really helped me understand how Saskia actually ended up in this situation and why she was so desperate to get out of it. There was one, one, one interview especially that I found with a contemporary witness and she explained that it was very well respected to be joining the Red Cross and be a nurse and she actually thought she was going to help a great cause and um, I really I, I listened to a lot of her her stuff because I thought that I could use a lot of her background for Saskia. One of the very challenging scenes was the scene of Saskia escaping through the furnace because there were many different elements to it that had to fit together but had to be shot in different locations and I had to get into the furnace which was one part and then climb through the furnace and it had to look like I'm climbing up uh, was for me quite mind-blowing was how the crew and the director set it up so that it actually looked like that <laughs> and then the part where she just gets out of it at the very end uh, that say <laughs> everybody involved in the scene ended up with a few scratch <laughs> um, but it was it was really fun I, I loved it and I loved seeing how it all came together at the end and it looked like one journey for her I love the fast pace of the film. I love that there are many different languages involved. I love that we have action, big fan of action, but we also have these moments of connection just between people from different backgrounds who are trying to fight for a similar cause. There is this element of, should I trust somebody or should I not trust somebody? That's a big part of the film is the theme of trust. And so I think it ticks a lot of boxes. I think it can serve a wide range of uh, audience. And yeah, I think that's definitely a strength because I know some people might not like action, but there are so many other elements in it that they might be attracted to. It's, yeah. So my favorite thing about working with the director was that Nick is incredibly calm on set, even when he would never let you know that anything is going wrong, which makes us as actors feel really safe. And he's just, he's got such a vision. So we, I think we all just relaxed into the fact that we knew he, what he was doing and we could just focus on our characters. It was very comforting. And uh, I think that's what a good director needs on set is just to lead the ship with this confidence and Almost, it almost felt effortless. I don't know if that was his experience, but it felt very effortless from his part. And yeah, so I definitely loved working with him. I think the audience can expect a very adventurous, fast-paced film with a lot of heart, but also a lot of action. 